left off. And then, okay. So we finish the debugging, and then, then we would start from conditions. Okay. And so on. I like. I can. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is your first. Right. Let's go ahead and, and get started with our other people. class. You trying to get your attention? Oh, and my, I'm still late on this. Homework. You're still on ITC 240. Let's take your mind off ITC 240 for a bit. Bye. All right. First so, of all, here an announcement. Some of you have heard the announcement. Two announcements. One of them is that uh, I posted the link to the React JS workshop, which will take place in the college. Uh, it will be led by Sophia Allen on the 17th of November. And there is a meetup, so if you're planning to attend, please do RSVP just in case it gets filled up. If you're planning to go, we have had one, the Git workshop got, did get um, filled, so make sure to put your name. This one may not get filled up, but just in case. So there is a link to that meetup on discussions on campus. The second announcement is that uh, on next, I think it's next Monday, Lisa is going to sit in on our class for an observation, just so you know, okay? All right, and so for today, the plan that I had for us, we finished three of the files from our template, so I'd like us to start with finishing the template so you can upload it, test it, create a screenshot, and update it. And then if time permits, I also have a very quick lecture um, that you can do hands-on how to edit the style sheet of an existing template that is already active. So you can edit a, a theme that is uh, built, you know, uh, that you downloaded, the one that you built yourself. And I will show you how to do it, and then you can go in and make changes to CSS without changing the structure, but have visual impact on your theme, all right? And if we still have more time, which I don't think we will, but I also have posted some videos. We haven't really watched any videos, so I have a series of two videos uh, for us to maybe watch tonight, or if not, Black Mirror. Black Mirror, yeah. that's right. I that one. <laughs> Did you watch it? Oh man. I know. Yeah. So, that's, um, not that's not what we're watching tonight, but I do. I'm pretty into the show as well. <laughs> Black Mirror. <laughs> All right. yeah. It's terrifying. Oh, yeah. it's very. Take the paranoia, I just love how they have labeled it. It is exactly exactly what it is. All right, so let's uh, set up our environment from where we left off. I don't know if you have the file saved, but we do know that we ended up... Sorry, just a moment. Mark, good evening. Do you have anything to add to the plan? Or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've been awfully quiet so far, so I'm just checking. <laughs> All right. Okay, we know that we we worked so far on three of the files, and so what we're going to do is, um, oh, you know, I tried putting this on several times. It's just, I'm not sure here it's the, here is the problem. If we go to week six, so do we have? Do you have your work saved from last time? Yeah. Yes. The three and one. Yeah, but do I? Yes, I do. Too. Yeah. Okay. So we have it, and we have the the. We do have the folders already, the files in the folder already created. So we can just start, maybe review index to see where we left off and then continue from here. So, so set up your brackets to point to this folder if you would. We pretty much just started code coding the index, right? Did we finish it? We did footer, header, index, and that was it. 
that was, I think that was, that was my... Uh, oh, we did the styles thing. And we did the top of the styles, but yeah. no actual CSS, right, okay. So then what we have left for tonight is to add the sidebar, the functions, add some styles to the style, and then upload it and test it, and then you can modify the CSS from there. And do a screenshot, that's exactly right. All right, so just to review the footer, we just have um, here, let's magnify it, the font size. This is our footer file. So it's, I guess I should have started with the header, but I started with the footer. Uh, we have the header file and we have index. And again, the HTML spans across the three files, right? So remember how we open HTML tags and div tags in one file and close in the other one. And now we can continue with a file sidebar.php. Are we okay there? Mm -hmm. So open sidebar.php, please. Let me open this here as well. Okay. We also have a page file. All right, so in the sidebar, we're going to add a div with our ID of sidebar primary and class of sidebar. And then inside the div, we're going to call up a function. Okay, my, something is off with my keyboard, I guess. Okay, um, dynamic sidebar primary. And this would be a similar to the way we did with the menu, right? So we are calling the primary sidebar, and then we need to define the sidebar in the functions file, or rather, create define a function where we're going to register it. So dynamic sidebar is a WordPress function. The function calls each of the active widget callbacks in order which prints the markup of the, for the sidebar. And so you can save this file. This is for sidebar, just the one div. And then we need to add a registration for the sidebar to the functions.php. So functions.php. All right, so start the PHP. And the PHP. So we're going to call a function add action this function hooks an action to the widgets so we, we pass it widgets in it and the second parameter is my sidebar So um, I'm reading from this laptop so you can see the code here. The definition of this function according to Codex is hooks a function onto a specific action. 
Access of the hooks that WordPress core launches at specific points during execution or when specific events occur. Um, and next, we're going to define our own function, my sidebar. And here we will register the primary sidebar. Register sidebar is going to take an array, and again, an array is a list data structure of key value pairs. And again, you should be probably reminded about the way we did the, the menu here. The first key value pair is ID maps to primary. Name is going to be primary. And you have to separate them with commas. Description We don't need this on the scroll function here. So the second part the uh, uppercase. Yes, the second the second primary is uppercase. This is the this is the text that's going to get displayed. Right, then description. This is the primary sidebar. Before widget. Is going to be a div id equals dollar sign so that means it's a space there one <coughs> oh, sorry um percent one dollar sign s lowercase s this is the id okay so percent one dollar sign s and the class of the div will be widget. Space. Percent two. Dollar sign. S. And then we define after widget. And this will be the closing div. And then before title. H3 plus equals widget dash and after title it's h3 Okay, so close the array. You can see in the carrot at the end of your H3 closing tab. Thank you again. That's one you do. <clears throat> All right, let me review this. I think otherwise that's fine. 
All right, and then close the register sidebar function and give it a semicolon. And then we close the function. I don't know. Under the H3 class equals widget, is that supposed to be underscore title or hyphen title? H3 class equals widget dash title. Dash so title. The, the one on the left is underscore, the one on the right is dash. The PHP tag. All right, so let you finish this and then we'll move on to add some CSS styles to the style CSS. And we also have one more file which is actually the page to display a single page. So we'll, we'll, we, we do have one more file besides styles to complete. And then we, you can upload it and work with it to make sure it's uploaded properly. So I'll give you a couple. Do you need a little more time? Usually you do because I type pretty fast. Okay. Take a minute to make sure everyone is finished here and we'll continue. So you can use are uh, using brackets. Yeah. So you can always use brackets to map to match what the brackets refer to. So this one refers to the array itself, and then the outer one refers to the register sidebar function that we're calling here. So the array gets passed as an argument to the function, and then this is all inside the function my sidebar, so we're closing the, the curly brace. You did the right thing. I had it wrong. Okay. Okay. So let's add, let's save this file. Did I have you create page.php when we? No. All right. So I would like us to add a page.php in our folder, and then we're going to add a single page, essentially override the theme with our own for using a single page to display. And so it's going to be a new save as. page.php and so in page.php so first of all let's take a look here
So when we pull up a page, then we, we're now going to add the code for, for a page to display. And um, to do so, first of all, we need to include the get header. And now that we have a sidebar, of the sidebar, and then a div with the ID of content. This div will close in this file. Now here we are essentially going to repeat the loop. So if have posts, oh, hold on a second. Oh. Okay. So if have posts. Then while the post, the post and inside here we're going to have a div with a class of entry. Get the permalink. And then the title. Well, the anchor tag and the H2. So let's see. Something is not closing here. Oh, I think I need one more. There we go. And we have a div with a class equal entry body. And the content will go here. Okay. And uh, after the second div, After the closing tag for the class entry div, then we're going to have a PHP and while else and while P. <coughs> Sorry, no posts matched your criteria and 
and now and the and if and that's where we close the loop the last thing we need to do is include the footer and we'll be done with this page as well Are we ready to add some styles to style CSS? So still working on it? Okay. Anyone need a couple more minutes? At least brackets is very helpful, isn't it? Showing the red color if there is a problem. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. The syntax is really <laughs> insane, right? I know I showed you the PHP Git the Princess cartoon in this class, did I? Yes. Right. Um, I need to say no more. I have a question. Sure. You said, I don't know if it's in the but you did the PHP on Monday. Yeah, you don't have it? Could you open it? So sure. I can just see what it looks like. It's just a few lines here. It's the, the footer is where you put the copyright, the date and such. So if you want to catch up with us, when let, let's work on style and then you can just copy the footer from the GitHub and then, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, open up style.css. So we already have our comment section and again, it's important that after you set up the values here, you don't change it after that, or you have problems, okay? So you have to not add anything else once this is set with the required arguments. Um, and now we're going to add just uh, some styles, and then you can have fun later making those look better. Okay, so let's do a background. of cc ff2 um, triple f2 margin of 10 0 padding of 10 0 and font family Arial, Verdana and sans serif And um, then let's add the anchor and anchor visited, the links. Color. Oh, three, three, two, six. Text decoration, none. Anchor hover and active. Mm. 
No, this is not the line text declaration. Other line. And then header. ID header. Pixelline center. Adding 50 pixels zero. Then our sidebar. It's 200. Bolt left. Display block. Adding and background nine six OOC C nine six and margin background margin right. With float display padding background margin and then content background color eight zero FFDD. Margin left, 20, adding 10, 10, thank you, all right. Footer. Clear both. Padding fifteen zero. Border top two pixels. Solid zero zero one a one three. Text align center. I scroll up this. Up, sure. I scroll up. Like that? Okay. Okay. Can is right in your body. The padding doesn't have um, anything in it. it. Just says ten. Yes. Oh, thank you. I just didn't understand. I'm sorry. All right. So let's double check this. Well, double check your own because it's going to. <laughs> That's what's important. 
but after you finish, um, after you review, maybe your skill sets and are reasonably sure that you are not, um, you don't get any obvious glaring errors, then the, if we're not taking a break, as it sounds like we decided not to, then the next step would be for you to grab those files and upload them and activate your team and see if it works. Right. So we have now enough files for a basic theme, and then see if you remember how to upload, yeah. activate, yeah. take a screenshot, and then when this is all done, you know, I'll show you how to look at the CSS from um, within the WordPress admin site. This is what our plan is for tonight. Do you remember the steps to upload a file? I don't remember, please. You don't remember? That's why I've been waiting for okay. last. Uh, go to the contact? Yeah, content. Content, sorry. There you go. All right. Um, well, I wanted you to do this of your own, but maybe I'll try to give you some thoughts. So what you have, does anyone else not remember how to do this? For what? How to upload your files? Yeah, theme so. folder, WP content. WP content, theme folders, yeah. and then and then you have to put the entire theme folder you're from the local, the one that we titled yeah. 1031. You have to move it from your local to the themes folder on your so. WordPress site. Oh. Uh, okay. Content. Yep. And then themes. themes. And then you drop it there. So that's the first step. So. So for this, does do our, does our oh, yeah, CSS for each be in a separate folder, or does it all? Mm. Does it, all so it should be all in the same folder. The so same we folder. just, this is the one I think, everything goes in the same mm -hmm. folder. I knew it was the same. Yeah, remember, like, all those entire themes folder, mm -hmm. so that it's <laughs> Do we have a lot of errors? This is like my third one. My 13 index is three. Okay, well that's helpful then, right? Yeah. You can go through the so if you have errors, then you can um so we're testing checking all our files right now. Well what we're doing is we are the assignment is to upload all the files to the site yeah. and then attempt to activate it and you might get some errors. So Seth got an error but it pointed him to the right. Is this not a, do we have yeah. spaces in this? Oops. I think we had spaces for this category. Okay, which, which file are you in? Index, the last uh, scan tag class categories. Okay. I want to open the um, <coughs> mark. <laughs> what was it? I was still there. Um, <laughs> I'm going to open no, the master. Sign in, sign in. You're not signing in, but it's just the link showed up there. Is fine. Um, I'm going to open the master file just to make sure okay. that, in case, because I was typing with you, I think it helps to type, but sometimes maybe I made a typo. So let's take a look at the one that I know works. Um, and you can also actually do this without. <coughs> oh, okay. But it's Got fine. It. Here, maybe somebody else wants to see it too. Which you want the index? Yes. Right. Yeah, there is space. 
Oh, I'm missing a semicolon. That could be why. Okay, let's try that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Index. 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 Uh, we did one like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Index. 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 So once you have, um, are you done, done looking at this? Or yeah. Just okay. so wanted to show that once you're done, and they put this uh, hideous color just for contrast, but you, you, you'll be changing it. You'll make edits to the CSS. But you should be able to see this is the theme. And um, so that's where we, that's what you want to see uh, one, if everything worked, right? The 10. Three one theme. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, so the the if statement doesn't have um, it's not a function. It's just an if statement. So take out the bracket, the parentheses there. Yeah, the parentheses. Take out the parentheses. Yeah, I think it should work. It should work. It Usually, 
So that learns this. Okay, take off. Awesome. Okay. Um, no, I must have been really tired when you were writing the index page. So, oh, I'm getting an error on your page PHP on my 12, but Seth is the same. So the index should not have points. I don't know what. Mine had points. Yeah, that is. I think I must have put it on the. But if you took it out, it works, right? Okay, I haven't tried it yet. Did you remind me to work for you? Okay, well that's it. We can look at this one. But. Yeah. Uh, my mm -hmm. uh, James goes to the other thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So that's one. So something wrong, but it's looking. Look, look somewhere else. This, you know, this is the thing you want? Okay. Yeah, it's not it's active yet. So what is. Like your styles are Well, we're just live previewing. We're oh, also live previewing. Okay. So you want to take a look at my well, let me see. So it's not it's basically displaying now CSS, right? Okay. Um, let's look at your folder. Okay. 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 It, it should be. Um, go to appearance. Yeah. So can you make it? Can you activate it for me? Uh, activate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so just activate. All right. No, we can't. Okay. Oh. Um, hey. All right. So let's go back to the editor. Okay. And go yeah. to appearance. I have the same thing. Uh, editor. Actually, no, it's good. So this is your CSS. Oh, so, so your CSS file is, um, we can scroll down, but so it's there. Um, um, on so it sounds so like you, you didn't, have. if the file is there, not say. then you probably didn't import it. Let's take a look at your line where you put the, the, the style of CSS yes. file, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and this would be the header. So much, what is everyone's never... side bar? Or is the footer the same color? Something's funky with my theme here. Oh, yeah. All right. So <laughs> Did you see that too? Well, now that you mentioned it, I don't know if mine's just OK, as long as it's how it's supposed to work. Well, so let me show you how to make changes to this now so you can make it look different. Uh -huh. But let me, um, so just a moment. Piano, can yes. you please open yes. your? Get a PHP and verify that you have included the style sheet correctly. So you want me to go to the yes. header.php? Header.php. So let me, um, yes. and then verify this line here, line nine. And after that, I'm going to show you how to edit your CSS and I'll turn off the recording and you can work on editing the theme once you have it working. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be, this is going to take like a year. It's just opening whole file. It looks nice. My second star is coming. All right. Um, let's let me show you how to make edits to your file, and you do have access to the source code as well. 
So if you wanted to make changes, so just change the color and so on. Any kind of change to the CSS, I did post the a little post about it, so maybe I'll just show you that. Let's see, customizing your theme with CSS. So if you need to reference it, you can come back here. And essentially, the main thing to know is that WordPress comes with, with its own theme editor, and you can edit directly all the files inside the admin area and make changes to them, including style.css. And you have to be careful not to touch anything between the comments. And once you have made the changes, then you're going to update the file to save changes, and your content will immediately be styled differently. So if we wanted to go inside and that changes the, the actual files too. Yeah, so it's going to change the file. So for example, right now, if I want to change this here, any aspect of the CSS, you'd go to Appearance Editor. And then you can make changes here. And that really saves everything. And so when we say color red. So it says, so I'm saying, I'm looking right now. So I'm saying red here and then update file. And then if we go to move houses, it changes it immediately. So that's why I chose such a and it and it but it and it changes it on your server. Yeah, so you are editing the file on the server with this editor. This is the point. Wow. All right. So make the changes here of anything you want to change, and then update file and the changes will be saved. Okay. And you can edit the other files as well. You can see here your theme files, mm -hmm. right? So it's pretty convenient. But maybe start with the CSS file style tonight um, and make some changes to this theme. That's what I would recommend. So what happens if, so like for our assignments, we've had stuff in the already, like content and stuff already on there. What happens if we were to just take like our static site and upload that whole thing and there's like, you know, content and paragraphs and stuff, would one override the other or would it just add all of it in? So you don't use the structure and the CSS for the content. You need to do this through the So that the needs to be through the that dashboard. That would be separate okay. because so you... it starts in a database and it's a separate process. Okay. Yeah. What you can change here is the style or make some changes to these files. But again, that's the theme, not the content of the theme. Right. Okay. So, um, all right, I think I'm going to turn off the recording now and let you play with this a little bit and then we can watch, if you like, we, I have a video to show you depending on how long it takes here. One second, Jeremiah, can I turn this real quick? Turn this off real quick here. All right, this is it.